One of the most important things to being a great batter is the ability to watch the ball bowl way from the point of release all the way to the point of contact. So in this video, we'll be covering some points that will help you watch the ball more carefully, as well as three great drills that help you improve in those. The first key point is keeping your head as still as possible while keeping your eyes parallel to the ground. When we do this, we get ourselves into the best possible position to watch the ball the whole way, from the point of delivery all the way to the point of contact. Now you may ask, but our head always has to move to get into position, so how do we keep it still? Well, when we stay still, it's more of a reference to smoothness. We don't want to bob and weave when moving in the position to play the ball. We want one movement, nice and smooth, all the way to the contact point. To practically show you, this is what it looks like to track a ball with smooth head movement and parallel eyes. That was easy to see, right? And this is what it looks like to try and see a ball with bouncy head movement and unparalleled eyes. That was super difficult. The next key point is more of a tip and could be applicable to some of you. And that is to try and watch the release point of the bowler instead of trying to track the ball from the hand of the bowler. For some of us, trying to track the ball in the hand of the bowler just causes way too many focus point shifts, ultimately making it really hard to follow the ball. So next time, try this. Watch the whole action of the bowler as a whole. And as soon as the bowler gets into the gather, you shift your focus to the release point. From there, it should be way easier for you to be able to watch the ball the whole way. The final point before we head into our drills is to actually make sure to watch the ball until you've hit the ball. Way too many players get too casual when they bat and start taking the eyes off the ball just before contact. When we get too excited to see where the ball's going, we want to see if it's in the gap and possibly running for four. Ultimately, by taking our eyes off early, we lose the chance to make any small adjustments that will help us time the ball that much better and increase our consistency. At this point, I'm going to ask you all to leave a like on this video. We would really appreciate it. Next over to Byron to explain the draws. Thanks, Zane. Thanks for leaving the easy parts for me. For the first draw, what we are going to do is we're going to be do a stationary hitting draw where the thrower is going to throw and the batter is going to hit from their base. This is there to make sure that we minimize our head movement into the ball so that the eyes stay nice and still, making sure that we can make contact underneath our eyes and allowing our hands to go through. This is to train the body into making sure that the eyes are nice and level and nice and still so that we can see the ball the whole way. For drill number two, we are going to be doing a draw where once a throw is thrown, the batter is going to play a shot and try and reference where the ball was. This is to make sure that the batter is watching the ball all the way off the pitch as well as onto the bat. Then they can go down and point to where exactly they thought the ball bounced. The coach can give their input to show them exactly where the ball has bounced. What you'll notice is more often than not, there is a slight discrepancy between where the ball actually bounced and where you thought it had bounced. This is natural because you are starting to train to hit the ball as well. So your eyes shift back and then you have to shift forward to do it. But try and get it as close to that point as yeah. possible. The more training you do of this, the easier it becomes. And this is going to train your eyes to follow the ball for as long as possible to ensure that you're in a good position to make a good contact. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> yeah. Let's just be real. Okay, there, let's, there let's, be real. Okay. let's be real. For the third drill, we are going to use what we like to reference as the Martin Guptal drill. It is something he does exceptionally well when doing power hitting, but we're going to use it for all of our shots in this drill. The thrower is going to throw nice low over arms. The batter is going to do his complete set, making sure it's nice and smooth and that the head is perfectly still at the point of release. From here, they are going to have a full movement into the ball, making contact underneath the eyes and keeping the head down through the completion of the shot for a couple of seconds to make sure that you can see the contact onto the bat. We do this because it is going to force us to watch the ball all the way onto the bat. And with this, it is actually going to help us get into a better position and make sure we can hit through the ball for longer periods of time. What you'll notice is as you look up, sometimes you lose that swing that you might have or the ball might move slightly at the end and this can get you into trouble. I wasn't recording. <laughs> this last one? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Everything's got so smooth until I got in charge of the camera. <laughs> <laughs>
You've given me literally like this much space to try. <laughs> I know. <laughs> a special thank you to all our members who help make all of these videos possible. And now that the head is nice and still, let's learn how to get our footwork right.